My name is Elizabeth Ohini. Um, during the Kufu administration, I was Minister of State for Education. But what I have to say here today hasn't really got anything to do with that, even though in some ways I did get extremely interested in how mathematics is taught in our schools. But that's a different story to tell a different day. Today I'm talking really about me as a parent. We have a ward, a young man who was attending one of the famous senior high schools in Kumasi. We were a bit worried about how he was doing. And the year in which he sat for the West African School Certificate exams, we were particularly worried that he might not do very well to go forward. And when he came home after doing the exams, on questioning him, we were even more sure that he hadn't done too well. And it was mathematics that we were really worried about. So I called my friend, uh, Professor Anku, and I said, I have this problem. He said, bring the young man and let's see. I brought the young man, he spoke to him, and um, he said, look, okay, I think, bring, let's work on him. Let's work with him and see whether we can't improve upon his mathematics. Luckily for all of us, the young man had uh, registered to do, I think they call it NOVDEC exams. He had registered to do all the exams again. So while we waited for those results, he came and started the course, I would call it, with Professor Anku here. I think it was for three months. They would do three days a week for three months. At the end of it, before the Novde came, I think the results, his results came. And um, how shall I put it? He didn't do well. The mathematics, he got an F, as I had feared. In the other subjects, some of them he'd done quite well, some of them not very well. But anyway, so he did the Nov deck. And guess what? He got a one in mathematics. But that didn't please me as much as the fact that he then improved upon all the other subjects that he did. All, all of the other subjects, he got much better grades than he got for the other, so in the first time he sat it. And he went immediately to the University of Ghana. And how shall I tell you, he hasn't looked back since then. He's graduating this year. So for me, it was not only did it take a big load off us, it was like what I had always feared, that this mathematics that brings the children back was proved. So I would, you know, for me, it worked. And I would suggest for anybody who has problems with a young man, with a young girl, who don't love mathematics, or who are having a problem understanding it, Maybe this is the way to do it. It certainly worked for me, and I hope it works for others. Thank you. You make them, the children fear mathematics because they think, oh, you've got to be very, very, very bright before you can. It's not true. Uh, but no. you, it is because the mathematics teachers feel that. Mathematics is such a hard subject. It's so hard and to, you, you must be like Einstein to do mathematics. But that is the problem. That is the problem that we have. So people don't enjoy it. The children, when they are going to mathematics class, they are tense, they are afraid. They are thinking, hey, I don't know what to do. They will say, I'm not bright. They will say that. So if only the mathematics can be made for young people to feel that this is something to enjoy. This is something that is not difficult. This is something that they can understand and love and enjoy. And it is part of living, part of life, part of humanity. Then we will work. But the currently, what we have, it just it's not working. It's not working, I'm sorry. All the rest of us who don't know it, we are not bright, we are dancers, then it doesn't work. 
honestly. Yes. Thank you very much for your comments <laughs> and your observations. Okay. Yeah. It turns out to be that there are many who fear mathematics. Yeah. They have phobia for mathematics. But we claim at our academy and the Academy Society that mathematics is very easy. Very, very easy. It should not be difficult at all. You know, we fear. It does not drop out of space. It is real things we do every day. That's mathematics. So we talk of the relevance of mathematics to everyday life. We claim that everything we do contains mathematics. And the principles and methods of mathematics ensure the efficiency of everything that we do. And that everybody we believe can do mathematics. That claim does not mean that everybody must be a PhD in mathematics. What we are saying is that if you are a carpenter, the mathematics you need to be an efficient carpenter, you can do it. If you are a baker, a dressmaker, whatever. A mason. A mason. Call all of them. We already said mathematics is in everything we do. So everything that we do, the mathematics involved, you, the person who's doing that, whatever, can do the mathematics. So, but the fortunate thing is that the way we teach mathematics has been part of the problem. Because unfortunately, many of the teachers themselves do not understand the concepts of mathematics, let alone how those concepts are related to the various professions. You see, so what we do here is we give individual, individual attention to students. Because one student's problem is not the same as everybody's problem. So you must see each student as an individual, unique, take care of the person's problems, and I guarantee you, no student is, is dumb. They can all be very, very good. But it depends on the approach we adopt to teach them. That's why when people come to this academy, because of that, our philosophy, we make sure that each student gets attention needed, and at the moment you put on the right track, they fly off. That happened to your son. Yeah. That's what it is. So they are all very good. Well, That's what we promote here. I know. I was in school myself. Yeah. And I didn't enjoy mathematics. And I know that I'm not dumb. Mm. And uh, yeah. I know. I, in fact, I know that I can point to the day, the mm. year mm. that I, I left mathematics. Yes. It was a very bad teacher. Mm. I'm sure he was very bright in himself, so, by himself. But he just, it was like, he thought if he did something and you didn't follow it immediately, it meant that you were a dunce. No, no. I'm not, I, you know, but no. there were many people like that. And it's prevalent, it's prevalent, this idea that mathematics is very hard. It's only for bright students. No. It's not, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be Other parts of the world, they make mathematics, everybody is South Korea. Fine. It's fine. fine. The fine. majority of children fine. get, fine. you know, they enjoy mathematics and they do well. Yeah. Please let's enjoy, let the children enjoy mathematics. That's why we introduce practical mathematics, fun, so that you use hands-on to create the mathematics, to see the fun in it, to see how it's relevant to all other things, all the things you do every day, you know, contain mathematics. So. You see, the issue has to do with the way we train the teachers. We've got to make sure that teachers understand the concept, the relevance of mathematics to everything that we do. But that is a major issue. What is the background of the teachers? They have to go to training colleges in the first place. What is going on there? You know, second. And then when they come out, are they themselves interested in teaching mathematics? But most of them get there just because they're looking for some money, some opportunity. It's not because they love to teach, let alone teach mathematics. They themselves fail the mathematics, they fear mathematics, so they introduce the fear to their students. You see? So it's a major headache that we are trying to resolve. So what we do, apart from the students, is organize workshops for teachers. We collaborate with the ministry to make sure that we can get teachers on board and try to help them to see you know, the totality of the mathematics concept is a structure, a superstructure, which is built on the foundation of concepts. So the foundation is weak, the building will collapse. That's what's happening. Well, I hope it doesn't collapse here. Good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. We appreciate your... All right.